Hello Capricorn, welcome to a You and Them Love Reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, what are their true intentions or next actions towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. This will be a reading for those of you that have someone in mind already. And finally, feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. So let's see, spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Capricorn. Regarding love for Capricorn. What do we need to know, spirit for Capricorn? What's going on for Capricorn? Okay. What's going on in their connection? We have the High Priestess. What's going on in their connection at this time? of swords okay so clarity communication the truth a secret truth with the high priestess here maybe there's been something that you have been hiding from someone or they have been hiding from you or something that just hasn't been talked about tell me about the high priestess what's going on with this high priestess what's this about oh secret feelings feelings that haven't been discussed shared can I get one more for the High Priestess? What's the High Priestess here? Ooh, the sun. Yeah, there's definitely clarity here. Like something's being cleared up or expressed. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. Strength after that, Leo energy. And what's behind that? Six of Pentacles. So I feel like there's an exchange happening here of like information. <laughs> um, and I feel like someone is it's almost like they had the courage to speak up here regarding some sort of feelings they have regarding how much they care or what they feel towards you. Tell me about the King of Swords. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here with the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Wow, Ace of Pentacles. This is about an offer, communicating, again, offering something through communication. I get one more for the King of Swords. Five of Swords. And then the Nine of Wands, Four of Wands. So I feel like somebody wants to maybe... I feel like they want to break down some wall between you or like I'm picturing someone who thinks you're like this Capricorn, very guarded, not very trusting of them. Maybe you are second guessing what they're saying or doing and it's almost like they want to reassure you here. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Two of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there's there's definitely um, a connection here. I think this is relating to almost like they don't want to lose this connection. Um, there's a fear of failure, perhaps, or someone's trying to be very strategic here. We'll see more um, if this is you, if this is them. We'll see that when I look into your energies. Um, because on, for the whole, or for the most part, I guess I should say, this does look good. It doesn't, I'm not picking up anything strange, even though the High Priestess was here. So it's like there's something maybe that was hidden or not expressed that needs to be expressed. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Three of Cups, Page of Swords, Justice, Libra, Energy. So, hmm. Interesting. I'm getting a, a, a very interesting message with the Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here. Like you've been observing this person. But I feel like you're observing them because there's something about them that maybe you don't quite trust. 
Maybe you need to talk to them. Maybe you need information. It's like you're trying to get to the bottom of something with the Page of Swords and the Justice card. And this person is trying to maybe reassure you. Yeah. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you're worried about something. So if you're not the one worried, it could be that this person is worried that you don't trust them. So let's look at your energies for each other. Capricorn, I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn and this other person. Tell me more about Capricorn and this other person. What is Capricorn thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Just being near you is intoxicating. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. I am afraid to contact you. Bottom of the deck, I will wait for a sign from you. Interesting, not sure why there's fear. Um, I think the fear, I picked it up that the fear was because of like you don't trust them but there must be a reason why um let's see tell me more spirit for capricorn and the person we have closed off guarded defensive resistant i'm gonna put it back because i didn't ask for who it was but yeah someone's defensive or resistant guarded that's that nine of wands Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. My God, that's a lot. Okay. Parting ways, hidden feelings, true love. So you might have um, separated from this person. And I feel like communication could have been cut off here. Despite, um, maybe this was a very painful uh, connection. Unhealthy attachment. Intoxicating. Maybe this was a very um, hot and heavy type of connection. A lot of chemistry, physical intimacy. Um, but I feel like there was also some some sort of hidden factors here. Uh, maybe there was deception or someone wasn't honest with the other person or completely open with the other person. Tell me about the um, Capricorns person. Maybe despite this um, separation, you have kept your true feelings to yourself. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Spirit, why is Capricorn's person tied up and happy ending? So I feel like this person is stuck on you is kind of what I'm getting here. Almost like um, you make them very happy. They see a future with you with this happy ending. Maybe you, you bring a lot of fulfillment. And I feel like they're trapped in this like like they're trapped from like i'm picturing them in a position where they can't get this happy ending for whatever reason uh this happy ending with you there's a i'm afraid to contact you this could be fear like the eight of swords here tell me more about capricorn tell me more about capricorns time hasn't changed my feelings for you Okay, tell me more about Capricorn's person. Even though we are apart, our souls are united. So there's definitely a strong connection here between you. But you are definitely apart. I, I don't think you're with this person. When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Yeah. So you have parting ways. They have even though we're apart. I feel like you're both separated here from the other. Let's see what else we can get from your energies here. The tower. Interesting. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn and this other person, how they're thinking or feeling towards each other. Tell me more, Spirit, for Capricorn.
definitely more for Capricorn. I feel like I need to shove, uh, shuffle this deck a little bit more. It's very like stiff because it's kind of new. Okay. Tell me about Capricorn's energies. So something must have happened between you that has put you on like a guarded, in this guarded state. What's with this Three of Pentacles? It showed up before too. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy spirit. What is Capricorn thinking or feeling when it comes to this person, to this connection? The Hermit, Virgo energy, and Strength, Leo energy. I feel like, yeah, there's the Eight of Cups. I was going to say, I feel like you've walked away or are apart from this person with the Hermit here. Withdrawn. That closed off card that came out earlier. Something happened with this Three of Pentacles. I don't know if there was another person involved. I don't know if there was something where like maybe you couldn't work together with this person. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups. Confusion, illusions, choices. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles and the Devil. Capricorn energy, there you are. Interesting, King of Pentacles and the Devil. There's the Nine of Wands. You don't trust this, I feel like you don't trust this person or you're very guarded. To, um, you put up a wall with this person. Um, maybe there was a third party that caused confusion or got in the way here. Um, because, and especially with the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there, they tend to already be in a commitment for me as a reader. Um, they're usually providers business um, savvy um, very secure and stable and so I, I think of a commitment when I see them now this cap um, I was gonna say this Capricorn card <laughs> the devil card here there's some sort of unhealthy attachment or restriction here um, there could be that there's a, someone's doing a lot of thinking maybe obsessing or just overthinking here with the seven of cups and the devil but also the seven of cups could be a card about illusion so these two cards could say that someone may, has maybe been trapped by an illusion or stuck um you know they may, may have made the wrong choice given that they you know the illusion and now they're stuck tell me about the devil now capricorn these are your energies so this could be how you view this other person this could be what's going on for you right now tell me about the devil Tell me about the devil. Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. But yeah, stuck energy once again. In just someone's undecided with the Two of Swords. Um, I feel like this could be you. I feel like there's something that you're not clear on, Capricorn. It's almost like maybe you think this person already is in a commitment, or there's something that you're not getting from this person. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. But I, I'm feeling like because you don't really trust this person or this situation, you, you have withdrawn. Tell me about the Hermit. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Tell me about the Hermit. It's almost like your heart says yes but your mind says no there's the five of swords again and the page of of pentacles yeah it's like when they come to you with an offer they ask you out or something like that i see you almost like you oh, know what's this person trying to do here but the attraction is very strong the connection was strong between you but i think what happened in the past that caused the separation it makes you wary of this person like what is this person contacting me for what do they want what is their true end game? That's what I see you like thinking or picturing here. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? Yeah, three of swords. So you were really hurt by this person and that's kind of the problem here. Yeah, knight of cups. They might be coming to apologize. They might be coming to express how they feel with the high priestess 
and the Ace of Cups and the Sun that came out in the previous spread. But I feel like you're not quite sure what to make of this when this person does show up. Um, it's almost like you don't want to maybe repeat the same mistakes or get into the same situation here. Tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with, Spirit. Tell me about their energies. Person that Capricorn is dealing with. And Capricorn, feel free to flip the roles. They resonate more for you. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What are their energies, Spirit? The Empress. Wow, okay. The Chariot. Okay, so that's pretty clear here. Uh, bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups, that happy ending card. Cancer energy with the Chariot. This person wants to come forward. They could be wanting to come visit you because I do sense a distance. So it's almost like, you know, bridging that gap or coming forward. Um, they see you as this empress. It's, I mean, it's very clear. They could be thinking about future growth, future success here with you. Tell me about the empress. Tell me about the empress. Yeah, two of cups. So... Yeah, this person, um, there's the Five of Pentacles. This is how they are. They're out in the cold right now, and they want to be near their Empress. They want to have access to their Empress. They want to see their Empress. Their second, or not second, but their the mirror, the soulmate, the soulmate, the person that meets with, meets, how, why am I not able, it's almost like this person can't put the words together to what they truly feel. Because I feel like this is someone that you're their counterpart. You are their person. You're the only one for them. <laughs> Um, tell me about the Empress. All right, you have true love here. So I feel like you see this as well, or you feel this as well. Four of Cups, yeah. So this person's wondering if you're gonna reject them, um, if maybe you're not interested in what they have to say. Uh, there's the Moon, Pisces energy. So I think this person, they don't really quite know, and this keeps ha coming up. Maybe because you've kept your fe feelings hidden or your communication You've cut communication. It's almost like this person is left wondering like what you're really thinking or feeling, how this is truly going to go. Um, again, this is someone that looks guarded, this um, Four of Cups. So I feel like this person, this is how they're picturing you. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're coming over to talk. Tell me about the chariot. But they're afraid to contact you, according to this card here. Yeah, there's the Nine of Swords. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, these are th right here. Nine of Swords and the Queen of Swords. I'm afraid to contact you. <sighs> Man, and, you know, it could be because of what happened, of how things ended. But uh, this person, I feel like they are scared to say what they need to say. Emperor, Aries energy. Can you see that? No, of course you can't see okay so um yeah i feel like this is somebody who they want to come forward the emperor to the empress you know like look at this emperor empress and then right between you the two of cups um this is this is how they are picturing this connection how they feel about this connection with you uh you are their person that's for sure but there's this mystery here between you know the fear that they have about what they have to say, but it, you know, and, and it's not only fear about what they have to say, it's also fear about the reaction. Can I get one more for this person? For this person's energy, so can I get one more for this person that Capricorn is dealing with? Yeah, so they're gonna come forward. I mean, they're gonna at least try to be open and honest with you about whatever it is they have to say. I think it's related to whatever ending happened between you because there's a Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And after that, the world, yeah. Um, I feel like they want to talk about what happened in order to have a new beginning. And there's a Seven of Swords after that. So it could very well be that this is a strategic move on their part or um, maybe they're trying to make it up to you in some way. Um, I feel like this is how you see them when they come forward though. Like you don't know what to take you know, how, what to make of this person. Why are they contacting me? It's kind of what I hear. So what is this person's true intentions or next actions going to be? 
What are this person's true intentions towards Capricorn or this connection spirit? True intentions or next actions. What is this person's true intentions or next action going to be? Okay, we have Scorpion. Interesting. The Scorpion is kind of like a look at me kind of energy. It's an energy about um, like frustration, lashing out kind of. But when it's in balance, it could also mean I feel like addressing something important. Let me look at the book real quick passionate, competitive, determined. Yeah, it's almost like they, they really need to focus. Okay, so here it is. They focus on an unresolved event from the past, usually a situation where they were left feeling burned. The Scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual self. Wild and free and fierce. So this, I feel, is them, they need to address this with you. Um, very passionate, determined to come forward, um, maybe because they, they, they just need to, I don't know, get out of this stuck energy, this fear, this unknown. It's, I think it's eating them up inside kind of here. And the bottom of the deck, the black egg, which is a card about speaking your authentic truth. Can I get some more insight into this person's next actions or intentions towards Capricorn what are their next actions intentions towards Capricorn ace of cups so yeah there's definitely love here and I feel like love is the ultimate um, goal I don't think this person has yeah ace of swords I don't think this person has ulterior motives um, you know now that's not to say that the way they come forward doesn't cause problems or drama because I mean I'm sure it this nobody's perfect right and I don't know exactly what happened between you and this person but the intention is to have a new beginning based off of truth and love here to address what needs to be addressed yeah to make an effort to be focused to show you demonstrate that they mean what they say that they're serious the eight of pentacles is someone that takes their time develops their craft is very focused goal oriented uh dedicated um hard working the eight of pentacles very um serious energy here so this is your person's true intentions um or next actions and i feel like the next action is to communicate openly and honestly with you and there's the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck i think it's going to take a lot more than communicating for you to open up to this person again and some of you might not even open up at all completely up to you of course just this is just what your person's thinking or feeling um doesn't mean that they have access to you or that they should be forgiven that's completely separate <laughs> but that's what i have for you capricorn thank you so much for watching for your shares likes subscribes comments i really appreciate it if you enjoyed the reading please consider liking and subscribing so you see more readings from me and i will see you all in another video very soon take care